Hello creatives, welcome to Artist Star. My name is Beth and this is a daily pick a card and birthday reading for February 19th. If you were born today after sunrise, you are a six of diamonds. If you were born before sunrise, you're actually yesterday's card, which was a seven of diamonds. Okay, so I'm going to read each card and then all together for the collective. Then a special birthday message for you, Six of Diamonds. This is your solar year cards, and this is your wish card. So let's get started and first understand that we are all feeling the energy of a Six of Diamonds day. So the Six of Diamonds is an interesting life to lead. You are here to improve upon and be recognized for your skills, your talents, your way of making a living, how you hold value in things, what you hold value in, and how you, how you live that life in that perpetual upgrade of things. Because what you're here to experience is that validation from an outside source. And you're here to understand that your ego loves that, but the soul longs for something a little deeper, a little more meaningful. So even though it is a life of pretty richness, you're longing for something that's got more meaning in how you value what keeps you grounded, the true meaning of life, if you will. Okay, so if you picked card number one, you got the Ace of Clubs in reverse. So just needing to be reminded of a few things that um, the Ace of Clubs in reverse is going to remind us of. <laughs> so this is about possibly not having the focus that you needed. Maybe maybe you didn't get enough sleep last night. Maybe you've just got too much going on, but you're not open to having that. You're blocked. Blocked in not being able to have that energy come through for the epiphany of an original idea. So it's super important today that we understand that that's there and ready and waiting for us. What we need to do is to understand what it is that we are feeling and why this is in reverse. Are you bored? Hmm? Are you lacking the information that you need to move on? Are you uh, divided in your thoughts? Are you feeling like you just need a time out and feeling a little lazy today? You know, where's the, the tea in the box of cookies? I just want to watch a movie. Nothing wrong with that, but just know that this is waiting for you when you're done with the cookies. <laughs> Another thing with the, uh, the clubs being in reverse is that you could be feeling like um, you need to manipulate or that you don't have control of some something that you need or you think you need and that you think you want, right? So basically you need for a time out, take a quiet moment, gather all of those thoughts, focus, and focus on freeing yourself up because something has you resisting, resisting this. And why, you know, what do you need in order to, to flip this card in the upright position? And, uh, you know, you might be feeling that judgmental or you might be feeling like uh, you're through a dry spell or something. And you may be tempted to plagiarize. I mean, that's one of the big things with this card. So don't let that happen. Take all of that creative input that you find out there and turn it into something that, that reinvents who you are at your core. Whoever you're, you out there watching today, this is a big lesson. It's an ace. 
So this is directly related to who you are at your core. All right. Card number two, temperance, finding that balance. That is a beautiful card to have crop up here at this juncture, right in the middle of things. Can't wait to turn over that third card. So temperance, yeah, this is you figuring it out with that, that truth that you so are in sync with today. Perfect. Six of Diamonds day to really delve in and see what is it that your soul needs that your ego is more than happy to be experiencing. So it is a harmony, a, a conversation between the two is really what you're looking for today. So acknowledging that it's been a lovely little uh, uh, positive reinforcement that you've gotten of lately, but that you're in the, the market for something that's going to make it feel even better, that alchemy of life that the temperance card brings. Love this. It's Mars energy, and it's related to the threes, in the, the red threes in the cards of truth. So if you happen to be a red three, this is speaking directly to you. So yeah, you're having this great opportunity in this validation day from an outside source of you getting pretty much getting your shit together <laughs> and uh, yeah, figuring out what you need for that intuitive, in sync balance. Love it. Card number three. Very stable card here, the Four of Clubs. This card really speaks to having that creativity, that flow, that ability to really be able to get down and get to work with whatever comes through for you. It is you at your best understanding what you need at your core. So this is the Hierophant energy. It's Mercury energy. So it is having a conversation about deep truths. The Hierophant is all about the truths, right? Encountering and trusting that spiritual voice, that unlocking the divine knowledge Lovely, lovely, creative, grounded card. So, yeah, the fours are all about that stability. And it is about feeling and having that security. So, and particularly with an idea, because this is the intellectual pursuits. That's what the club's suit is all about. So it is time to practice being practical and feeling the satisfaction in doing just that. So all together here for the collective, we've got some epiphany, some original idea ready to pop. We just need to get over ourselves long enough to understand what we really need to do is being focused on finding that balance. Once we're in that balance, we are going to be able to channel whatever creative uh, block that we have right now into something really unique and totally ours. Yes, it may come from an outside source. It may be studying the masters and understanding how your work needs to be tweaked in this way or that. It's studying. It is getting that answers through knowledge. So finding that balance through doing the work and gathering that information. Beautiful, because it is going to bring a lovely stability and security to what it is that you're doing. It's going to pay off for quite some time. 
with the Four of Cups. Beautiful reading here. Best of luck. Okay. Six of Diamonds. You are included in this reading, but this is your solar cards. So analyze. Your time is well spent analyzing, but only up to where you become too attached to any particular outcome. Well, that is speaking directly to that ego, isn't it? And finding the analyzing part of what your soul needs. Feed the soul, right? Feed the soul and open that up for you. Just oh, lovely. Don't be attached to any particular outcome. Really free thinking here. Ooh, you got the eight of spades. I love this card. This is like the big time out for you. You feeling incredibly grounded, really knowing what's best for you mentally and physically. This is you really knowing that value that you find in being this a six of diamonds that you are, the value in having those timeouts to really let whatever has been fermenting to really have as much of it as you, the, the total goodness in the package, right? So, okay, we're talking North Node energy. So you need to take this year and really explore that to whatever degree that you need to take it. You're, this is also um, really nice that it is the chariot card as well related to in the cards of truth because the chariot card is all about taking life by the reins and being able to maneuver through whatever comes your way this year and you're going to do it through this meditation this groundedness knowing exactly what you need to do for you it's an opportunity you finding that self-validation that you as a six of diamonds are really looking for that balance between soul and ego you've got the opportunity to do exactly that and your wish card the hope jar i am full of hope and i take action yes beautiful all right, so there you have it. Beautiful, beautiful reading. All right, Six of Diamonds, have a fabulous year. Happy birthday. And for the rest of us, I hope you take full advantage of this Six of Diamonds day and find that lovely stability to bring to your creative talents and, yeah, making you a bigger, better, beautiful, more grounded and lovely you. All right. Best of luck to you today. And I will see you tomorrow. And until then, happy creating.